This is Twit. Uh... I am almost to level 40 on Pokemon Go. More importantly. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lisa, see, see, see audience, Leo is, Leo is still very, very young, <laughs> youthful, and fresh in his thinking. I just want to say, I want to get to 40 because any second now, right? Wizards Unite is going to come out and it's all over for Pokemon Go. Um, <laughs> Aww. Niantic gave previews to a number of uh, uh, game blogs and so forth. And uh, I know that you are paying close attention at imore.com because, of course, you are the headquarters for Pokemon Go information. Renee, what do we know about Harry Potter Wizards United? It's based on the Niantic Ingress slash Pokemon Go platform, right? Yeah, so, I mean, Android Central, our Android site, covered Ingress a lot, and we've covered Pokemon Go. But I have to admit, I'm, I'm still Pokemon Going, so Lori, uh, with Russell Holly and Luke uh, Filipovich, has been doing all the Wizard Unite stuff. So before oh, she Oh, I says, should ask like, Lori, then. Yeah, so oh. before she might just look at me and say, you know, I don't know, just, like, curse me and have my Pokemon shrivel and die. You know, Adava Kadavra, Pikachu. And Wait then, a minute, like, I did over. not know that Lori Gill was the Wizard Unite expert. Well, well, now there's a couple of us that are trying to be experts so that that poor Renee doesn't get trapped doing. Actually, Luke Filipovich is is he's doing some heavy coverage of it, and we've got him on on board to. This is actually his article, be, and I'm more, yeah. He, yeah, and he will hopefully be the Renee Ricci of of Wizards <laughs> Unite. But it does. But, sound, um, at yeah, first, I thought they would just skin Pokemon Go and turn gyms into castles and stops into. I don't know. Well, it's like of, sorta, but they're but to the it's next really level, a right? very. It looks like a very play. A play looks very, very, very different. Yeah. But I have said I am on record as saying if you thought the Pokemon Go craze of July 2016 was out of control, you ain't seen <laughs> nothing. Yet. Oh, that's why they made. That's why they made the last movie to sort of temper down the servers. Oh. So, they <laughs> so Lori, do we know uh, when? It looks like it's getting close. It is definitely getting close, but no, they're they're not even close to giving us an idea of when. But you can see from from the Harry Potter Wizards Unite website that there's some gameplay that they're sharing with us now. Um, so it gives us the. If I were to guess, based on how how Pokemon Go started, and this is definitely just a big, huge guess, I would say this summer. Um, and I'm I'm only basing that on the gameplay that they're. They're showing us, which means that they're far outside. enough along. You're gonna play outside, right? You good? You do have to play outside. Yeah. It's, it's um some of this. So it's the same basic mechanics that you get from Pokemon Go and Ingress, which is that you do have to navigate the world around you. But there's going to be quite a few different uh, things that you'll come across, and it's not just a matter of sort of spinning a um a stop to to gather some some right. goodies. Um, there's the the thing that I'm seeing that I that I find most interesting is that you can drop a port key, which in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, a port key transports you from one location to another. So there's this um, augmented reality version of a port key that you can drop, and then it looks like you'll be able to just sort of enter a world where you'll even though you're still in the same park or the same building. When you look on your phone, you'll actually get to see an entirely different view and kind of look around within that view to find what you're looking for. I think that's an, a nice sort of next level um, adding to the, the gameplay that's already there. Um, instead of catching Pokemon, obviously, you're trying to capture these um, magical objects that have somehow accidentally found their way into the real, or not real, the non-magical world. Um, so that's your version of catching Pokemon is catching, they're calling them, uh, foundables, foundables. 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 Isn't that weird? Um, yeah. So yes, <laughs> they've made up a new Audible. word. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you're also going to be doing some battle things instead of, um, fight, like setting up your Pokemon to battle against each other in the gyms. Um, you'll be going to, um, fortresses where you will, um, perform, um, uh, spells on on other players' avatars, and this this kind of the based on the view and the, on what they show in the gameplay, it's very similar to what you would see in some other Harry Potter style games where you might uh, have to swipe the screen in a certain pattern in order to um, activate that particular. Uh, spell. Yeah, you have you know, to learn a spell. To, yeah. Yeah, and you might have to use circular motion to, um, you know, attack them or use 
a side swipe motion to block them or something like that. So it looks like that's some slight changes to the um, gameplay that we've seen in in Ingress and, and uh, Pokemon Go. But it is a, a, a same basic understanding of you have to go outside, you have to navigate the world around you in order to, to play. Well, uh, if I'm sorry if you're an iOS user, you're out of luck. But if you're an Android user, they are now open for pre-registration which means they may invite you to early uh, access for the game. So it is on the Android store uh, as a pre-register. Harry Potter Wizards Unite. I'm going to pre-register because I want to get out of Pokemon Go as quickly as I possibly can. So, 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 so Loria... Uh, and Lisa's uh, already told me she's not starting a new game. As soon as Wizards Unite come out, she's dropping Pokemon Go and, oh. and, and going to start taking pictures and enjoying life. <laughs> uh, right now, we're in a bitter battle to get to level 40, and she's she's like 3 million, 4 million points ahead of me. So I think she's going to Go, win. Lisa! She's going to win. We're both I, 39 I to, right now. I just need to get this out there for Renee and Lori. I, I understand that uh, Imor is going to be dark for three days around <laughs> this event. Uh, I'm not, I don't play Pokemon Go and I haven't even read the Harry Potter book. So if you, if you need me to come in as just like Andy. sort of like when, sort sort of when like Captain Marvel has to bring in like She-Hulk or Andy, Captain America. Andy, just please do yourself a favor and just get all seven Harry Potter books yeah. on Audible. I know. And yeah. don't, don't leave the house till you've read them all. I, I I have. It's not that I haven't read them for a reason. It's just I haven't gotten around to them yet. I do. I bought. I own all of them on Kindle, and I own like four of them on Audible. I just haven't. <laughs> I, I feel. I feel like it's like a. It's like when a new Neil Gaiman book comes out. I don't yeah. want to read it in batches on the train. I want to. Yeah. Here's here's my cup of. Here's my pot of tea. <laughs> here's to, the. To be fair, in the reading life. Neil is actually a much better writer than J.K. Rowling, but yeah. The Harry Potter is more a cultural phenomenon than anything she else. She made it's, a super interesting, like her characters and world are super yeah. interesting. She doesn't render yeah. it as well. as No, I, game I agree. I think there are better, far better yeah. writers out there. But I well, said well, this I, when, when the first set of Harry Potter books came out, she single-handedly got kids back into that's reading. Right. And that hadn't happened yeah. in my entire lifetime. And I was so happy to see, I was working at an elementary school at the time oh, and neat. every child's face was in a yeah. book and it was yeah. incredible yeah. to see that. My, including my kids. And that's probably why I have such affection uh, for the series. Exactly.